Hello and welcome to Isolation Inquiries. Do you believe the dragon's nihilism stems from his own isolation? I believe the dragon's nihilism is a result of being just as isolated as Grendel. However, the dragon does not mind being alone, unlike Grendel. The dragon prefers to be in his cave with his riches rather than interacting with humanity because he has come to believe over time that life is meaningless. He only cares about his valuable stuff, such as boobies, hemorrhoids, boils, and slaver. Page 59. He was extremely protective of these items and warned Grendel to never, never, never touch my things. Page 60. After living for so long and being even more hated and feared by humans than Grendel, he must feel alone and prefer to be away from the rest of the world. His lack of interaction with other living things has led to his pessimistic views about life. What is the true reason for Grendel's visit to the dragon? Wanting answers about life or looking for someone to talk to? Despite Grendel's fear of the dragon, he visits him to supposedly learn about and understand the meaning of life. I believe that the underlying motive for Grendel visiting this apparent antagonist is his loneliness. He is tired of not being able to speak to anyone like the humans can and wanted to, to participate in a meaningful discussion. For example, he asks the sky, why can't I have someone to talk to and receive no response, page 52. In addition, Grendel does receive some insight about life in the Shaper, but does not even heed the dragon's advice. This suggests that Grendel did not visit the dragon just for guidance, because if he really wanted help, he would have likely done what he was told to, seek out gold and sit on it. Page 74. Do you think Grendel actually wishes to be a human? Why or why not? I believe Grendel does desire to be a human because he expresses confusion towards his role in interacting with humans. His first instinct was to communicate with them because of their shared language, which reveals that he didn't believe he was the monster that humans believe him to be. It wasn't until after the Shaper and Dragon influenced him that he started to take on the evil role that humans assigned to him. For example, Grendel states that nothing was changed, everything was changed, by my having seen the Dragon. Page 75. He started his raids shortly after his encounter with the dragon, some three or four nights later, and focused more on his hatred and torture of humans thereafter. Page 79. Did Grendel spare Wiltho's life because he relates to her isolation? There are many possible reasons for Grendel's change of heart, but relating to her is not one of them. Despite his claim that he spared her because killing her was pointless, I believe that he spared her because he was influenced by her beauty and kindness. If he believed that killing her was pointless, why did he kill any of the other Danes when he got nothing out of it except the pointless pleasure he would have gotten from killing her? Page 109. I think he had special views towards her because she seemed like a perfect woman, so he could not simply kill her like the other men. When he first saw her, he described her as beautiful, and she surrendered herself with the dignity of a sacrificial virgin. Page 100. This conveys that he felt some form of love or sympathy towards her, but did not relate to her in any way.